I can see my bit of wax on this end of the wire is starting to melt. And if I look at it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blanc. This bit is still as hard as it ever was. That's because the heat doesn't travel through the cork very much. Some materials are very good heat conductors. Others are very poor heat conductors. In fact, if we want to have a poor heat conductor, what we call a, an insulator, the main thing we want to do is to have lots of air in it. So the material that is you've got in your lofts, which is keeping your house warm, is some fluffy material, some glass wool or something like that, which has got lots of air in, so it's trapping the heat from your house. Some of you may have double glazed windows. Double glazed windows have two sheets of glass with an air layer between. That stops the heat getting out and the cold getting in. I'll just make myself a cup of coffee. Seems about the right time for it. And here's a beaker. So let me put my coffee in the beaker. Ow! You see, a beaker glass is a rather good heat, a heat conductor, so I actually find it quite difficult to hold that cup of coffee with any comfort at all. Actually, when you go to the cafe to get a coffee, you may get your coffee in a styrofoam cup. Styrofoam is a very good heat insulator, so the heat doesn't get out at all. I can hold this very comfortably. It's only slightly warm, this cup of coffee now, so I can drink it. The best insulator of all is something that we provide in a thermos flask. The best insulator is something that's nothing at all. A, not even a gas. When you take your thermos to your picnic, what you've got is a glass vessel inside this plastic case, and it's actually a double glass vessel with a vacuum inside, a vacuum, something there the air has been pumped out of, and that will keep your cup of coffee warm all day. Or, of course, you can do the opposite. If it's a very hot day, you can actually put some ice in here and it would keep your ice ready for a nice cool drink at the end of the day. The ice would not melt because the heat from the air outside could not penetrate into the middle of a thermos flask. 